Good morning and welcome back to another Circle Time meeting. We are going to start the day off like we always do by grabbing our voice and getting ready for our word of the day. Our word of the day is still not like we have been working on. And so as we go through the book, we want you to point to the word not. You can say not uh, however you like. And remember parents at any time during the Circle Time meeting, feel free to pause and let your kiddos get to the place that we are working on in the flip book and in their voice. So the book we're gonna read today is I Do Not Like Germs. And so let's get to the beginning. Here we go. Frightening. Scoot up so you guys can see the picture a little bit more. Frightening. I do not like snakes. I do not like worms. I do not like beetles. I do not like germs. I do not like thunder. And I do not like lightning. I do not like storms. It's all so frightening. So again, our word of the day is not. So practice this around your house when you're going about your day to day. And that is our word. Okay, you're gonna take your voice and you're gonna flip to the months page. And as you're flipping there, I want you to point out what month we are in. And if you said May, you are absolutely right. It is May. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give your parent a high five or a sibling or maybe even a family pet. We are in the month of May. Now that's getting put back up. We now wanna see what day it is, so what number we are on. And so you're gonna flip your calendar to the days of the month, which is one through 31. And as you're flipping there, I'm gonna pull our calendar down to give you a better close-up view of where we're at. And so we're going to add one more day, and this says 26. So we're gonna add one more day, and if you point it out to 27, you're absolutely right again. It is the 27th day of May. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna count how many days there are in May, starting with one. So please join me in counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. We have been in May for 27 days. And it's been a long time and we're almost through May, guys. The end of the school year is coming close. So now what we want to do is we want to flip to the days of the week. That's Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday in your voice. And how we find out what day of the week it is. We come to this 27th that we just put on there. And we're going to climb all the way up to the top. Climb, climb, climb. And it's going to land us on Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And so what we want to do 
is get our days of the week chart. This is our log with our friend squirrel on the top. And we want to put our today is when uh, tag on, once I get it out of my pocket here, today is, and like we just said, Wednesday. So we're going to place in there, today is Wednesday. I want us to think, if today is Wednesday, what was yesterday? So we're going to look on our calendar, we're going to jump back a day. So let me pull our calendar forward again for you. So if today's Wednesday, what was yesterday? We're going to jump back a day on our calendar. And that's going to land us on Tuesday. So yesterday was Tuesday. So again, let's get our days of the week calendar up. Get our yesterday was tag. So I'm going to take our yesterday was tag and we're going to put that there right on Tuesday. So now we have yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, what will tomorrow be? So to find out what tomorrow will be, we're going to jump forward a day. So we already said yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, we want to jump forward a day, and tomorrow will be Thursday. Awesome job, guys. So we're going to get our tomorrow will be card. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give your siblings or a parent a high five. And after you're done with that, and as I put this stuff away, I want you to get your voice, and I want you to turn it to the numbers page and that page is going to be one through ten and it's going to have the ten frame emblem up on the top so as you're getting there i'm going to put our calendar back up all right you guys should be there now and i want you to think think back to yesterday and tell me what this is. What is this black frame we have on the board? And if you got your voice and you pointed to 10 frame or you said 10 frame, you are right again. You guys are doing so well. It is a 10 frame. And why do we call it a 10 frame? Let's find out. So we're going to count the empty squares together. And if you think there's 10, I think there's 10. So I think we're gonna be right. Let's count them and see if there's 10 empty squares. Today, I am going to use our fun little pointer finger here. And so let's count together, starting with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There's 10 empty squares. That's why we call it a 10 frame. Now I'm gonna think of a random number and I'm gonna fill in some of the empty squares. And we're gonna count them together to see how many they are. It's just gonna be a random number. So I'm gonna meet you on the other side. Here I am, I'm here. You'll probably just see my hand, but you'll still hear me talk. But maybe I can turn this, let's see. There we go, perfect. That's a little better. So I'm just gonna grab some here. Okay, random, I just grabbed some. So let's count them, starting with one. One, two, three, and four. All right. So we filled in four of our 10 empty spaces. Now I want you to think, how many more is it going to take to fill in the rest? How many more? All right, so point it out. And let's see if you're right. So we're going to fill them in with the yellow, starting with one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
If you pointed out six, again, great job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give your parents a high five. So now what we have is four plus six equals 10. Awesome job, guys. So as I move back to the other side of the screen and we get going on to how many days we've been in school, I want you to turn to your voices to the other numbers page, which is one through a hundred. And we're going to see how long we've been in school for. We're back on the other side of the camera now. And we're going to take our ones and we got to add one more day to it. So I'm going to take one of our cubes and we're going to add it onto our strip. And now we're going to add this strip together starting with one. One, two, three. Perfect job counting. Now my next question to you is, is it time to swap? Let's look here. Are these the same? Is this the same as that? No, so it's not time to swap yet. So we're gonna put this down. So we have three ones. And now let's count how many tens we have. How many 10 sticks we have? And we're gonna count our 10 sticks, starting with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven tens. Now we wanna look at how many hundreds flats we have. So we have one, hundred flat and I want you to point out how many ones cubes we have in a hundred flat so if we add them all up there will be 100 ones cube in this flat now the next question is, is how many ten sticks do we have so if we count each column there's going to be ten so now what we want to do is we want to count all these up and see how long we've been in school but we're gonna keep a hundred in our head. So I'm gonna place this on your head. Boop, hundred in your head. So you ready? One hundred, one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy, one hundred and seventy one. 172, 173. We've been in school for 173 days. Uh-oh, I see a little mistake here. We need to add one more onto here. So we know that we have one 100 flat, right? We just did that. We know we have seven 10 sticks, but we just learned that we have three ones cubes. So we need to take the two off. And we need to come to our box and we need to find the letter, the number three. And we're gonna put him right there and make our chart match our counting sticks to 173. So we're gonna put all this away. There we go, put them back in their homes. And I want to thank all of you for joining me today on this Wednesday for a circle time meeting. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming.